As engineers working at Great Ormond Street Hospital, we are trying to find ways to translate some of the techniques and models that we are studying and developing in order to make them more relevant for the parents of the children that come to the cardiac unit for treating congenital heart disease and also for the clinicians that see them and that work with us. One technique especially that we have been working with is 3D printing or what's called rapid prototyping which consists in printing an object in 3D by manufacturing it layer by layer. What we're using this for is to make a 3D model of children's heart and the idea is not to make a generic one but to make it for every patient. So the idea of patient-specific modeling would be to provide the clinician with um, this 3D object that would show a defect or a point that he wants to explain to the parent or to the child, to the patient himself or herself when they're slightly older. And um, by showing on a model, it may be easier for them to understand where things are and what the problem is. Uh, I would like to talk to you about this recent initiative, uh, which is uh, for research at, at uh, the current stage, but we're planning to introduce it into the clinical uh, um, uh, arena, which is the one of printing 3D models of the anatomy of uh, our patients. As you know, there is a lot of variability in the anatomy, so in the way the uh, great arteries and the heart is built in children with congenital heart defects, and also the type of treatments can be quite variable from child to child, so I find it very helpful when I'm discussing a child's case with the family to have a 3D model which explains exactly what the starting anatomy was, how the surgery has occurred and also what uh, is planned for the future and what the possible problems that the child could encounter in the future are. So, and the families, I think, have been very supportive and very uh, receptive of this new development. I think this is a great initiative. My main topic of research is with the children who were born with the condition known as transposition of great vessels. And I'm basically looking at them after they've had an operation, which is called an arterial switch operation. And um, this is very complex for the patients and parents to understand what the arterial switch operation basically is. So I think these models put everything into perspective where we can visually see exactly how the two vessels that come out of the heart are related, as you can see them on this model here. So would you like to see a model of your, actually, your heart in terms of how the arteries are? Oh, it's beautiful. This is something we made earlier. <laughs> so that's for you to hold. Wow. So this is actually your arteries from time when we did the MRI, this actually shows the area of the narrowing. To explain to you, that's the main body artery or the aorta. That's the main lung artery. This is part of the right pumping chamber. So this lung artery is in front of the main body artery. Okay, And the normal relationship is they spiral around in such a way that the aorta or the main body artery goes at the back the lung artery goes in the front. So from a psychological point of view, we know that communication is a really crucial part of any relationship between patients and clinicians. And this kind of tool helps the clinicians to communicate with the children and their parents. And it helps the children and their parents to understand what's going on and to be able to ask appropriate questions. And we believe that that will result in better outcomes for those children in terms of their psychological adjustment following their treatment. So the more and more I've done research, the more and more I've uh, begun to understand how important it is to have patient uh, involvement and patient engagement, not only actually in the research process, but also in defining the sorts of research that we uh, carry out. And it really influences the quality of that research, and I think that's become crucial um, for the research that we now carry out at this institution. At Great Ormond Street, in the last decade, we have been using this model for research purposes in order to help clinicians, cardiologists and cardiac surgeons to plan procedures and treatment, especially in difficult cases. Only recently, we have been realizing that the potential of these models also to help patients and parents to understand their condition. However, we don't know if these models are appropriate for everybody and helpful for everybody. 
Therefore, with this research project, we are trying to involve the patients and the parents in order to evaluate the full potential of this communication tool.